Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. So round up all the Rainbow 6 News over the last week. And let's start with the arcade playlist Golden Gun. It's up for this weekend only, so if you do want to play it, get in right now. And it is also going to give you double battle pass points as well. This is an easy game mode to make a lot of levels in the battle pass very, very fast. I've also released a Mythbusters out on the Core Rush channel for Thorn. And there'll be another Mythbusters coming next week for the actual general changes. And then switching over to another Rainbow Six title, we've got Extraction. It has been announced as having its release date of January 20th now. It's also halved in price. It's gone basically back down to the original announcement price for it. And they've also announced that it's going to be a buddy pass, which means if you buy the game or any one of your friends does, they can invite two people to actually play for 14 days for free on any platform. So if you're on Xbox, you can invite your PlayStation buddy over to play it. And that is pretty insane so finally some good decisions on ubisoft's part there and you'll be seeing some more content from me on my core rush channel about this game relatively soon now let's jump back to siege so one of the patch note changes for the new season is that esports packs will no longer give duplicates they will actually give battle pass points instead of duplicates which for me is awesome some people are going to hate that though because you actually get quite a lot of renown for the duplicates but i'm very happy to get battle pass points and i'm curious to see how much it will be so i'm going to wait i'm not going to open up any of these sports packs i have right now and i have quite a lot so i'm going to wait and then i'm going to open them for the new season launch because they should all be upgraded to the battle pass versions at that point and I'll see if I get like a decent amount of levels or whatever out of the battle pass for them and see if it's actually worth it. But yeah, that's something to note. If you want to get renowned, open them now. If you want to get battle pass points, wait for the new season. Now talking about the new season, we've also got the brand new seasonal skin. And this is what it looks like here with a, basically it looks like someone just didn't take care of their gun and it's covered in moss and leather. And also the weapon attachment skin is going to be this gold and leather combo as well. And you have to get that in the actual bundle for the seasonal skin if you want to pick it up. But it looks kind of good. I think it may actually work with quite a few different skins. And I still have the old school gold on my Xbox account. So it might actually look really good with that. Even with the leather for the hand grip, it might go really good with that gold skin. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. And then finally, let's talk about streamer mode. So we got a developer blog for this. And this looks like the legit streamer mode this time. It is actually going to do all server side. And it's also going to work with the APIs so that uh, overlays and third party stuff can't actually get the information on you when you have it on. So that's insane. And I think it's perfect. Now, of course, I've not actually tried it. So it could be that it's not nearly as good. But from reading their blog is literally what I want. So... Yeah, and this will come to everybody in the future, which means if you get DDoSed on consoles and stuff like that, you'll be able to go incognito and make it so those people can't look up your IPs and stuff like that using third-party software. So yeah, that's, I think, going to be amazing. Hopefully I get to test it out and it'll be going out to content creators first and basically there'll be beta testers trying it out and try to figure out if there's any exploits, if there's anything that uh, won't work or there's anything that just breaks the game or whatever like that. And people always do bring up the problem of cheaters being able to use this to go incognito as well. And I always say, you'll still be able to report them. You know, when you use the end game button to report people, it will still be reporting their proper account. And of course, and you still have the match ID on the scoreboard. So if you do want to write record a clip of someone cheating, of course, you should always include the scoreboard because it has the ID. And you should do that either way, even now, without the streamer mode enabled. But that's it guys, that's the highlights. If you want to check out all the stuff that's actually changing, I'm going to have Mythbuster videos out. And of course, I've gone over the patch notes and stuff like that on the Core Rush channel that goes in depth with everything. But this is all the major stuff that is going to make some significant changes as we uh, go through the next couple of months and lead into the 6th Invitational next year. And we should get a 6th Invitational event and probably a 6th Invitational battle pass with a new season as well. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.